Hello, friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. A Surprise from the Past Leaves Steve Harvey in Tears Written and read by Alyssa Forsberg Check out this sweet surprise from the past that leaves Steve Harvey in tears on his birthday. God puts people in our lives for a reason, and that is just what he did for Steve Harvey at the young age of 26 when he was alone and in need. A sweet couple took him in and helped him become the man he is today. Their emotional reunion took place on Steve Harvey's show on his birthday. Okay, I said no surprises, says Steve to his crew. The show's manager, Alex, is apologizing to Steve offstage with a big smile on her face. Then a call from Orlando comes in. Immediately, Steve recognizes who is calling him and is overwhelmed. He starts pacing around the stage as tears well up in his eyes. The man's name is Rich, and Steve tells him that he loves him. I love you too, man, says Rich as he gets choked up. Then his wife, Becky, comes into view as Steve continues to cry. We love you, buddy, and we wish you the best happy birthday, Rich says. These people, says Steve while trying to hold back the tears. I was 26 years old. I was struggling. I didn't have nothing. And these people owned a furniture store in Cleveland. They took me in and gave me my first contact with my little carpet cleaning company. When I became a comedian at 27, I didn't have money to travel. They gave me an account at the travel agency. And man, I ran up a bill, like $11,000, just trying to travel and make it. And people right there, man, they helped me out. What a beautiful show of gratitude from Steve. And how wonderful it was for this couple to take Steve in like that. Hey Rich, I'm going to send a plane to pick up you and Becky, Steve tells them. I'm going to fly y'all to Chicago for the show. I've been looking for you for years, man. What a powerful sight to see Steve humbled by this act of kindness that happened to him decades ago. Heartbroken Mama stands over dead bear cub in dire plea shared by park ranger as caution. Written by Mel Johnson. Read by Alyssa Forsberg. A Yosemite park ranger witnessed the gut-wrenching grief of a mama bear who spent hours trying to wake her dead bear cub. He shared the heartbreaking image in a viral post begging visitors to drive more slowly. When God created man, he gave humans dominion over all of the earth. But with that blessing came a responsibility to respect, love, and care for God's creation. Sometimes we forget about that huge responsibility. And as technology advances, we can pose an even greater threat to the natural world around us. A heart-wrenching image of a mama bear standing over her dead bear cub on the Yosemite National Park Facebook page illustrates this fact. And it is reminding all of us of this important responsibility we have to care for the living creatures around us. In the viral post from Yosemite National Park, a park ranger recounts the painful task of responding to a call about a dead bear on the side of the road, hit by a vehicle. The ranger's job is to move the body off of the road so other animals won't get hit while scavenging it, then to record the incident for data collection. And sadly, it's becoming routine because bears are getting hit so often by speeding vehicles. I try to remember how many times I've done this now, and truthfully, I don't know. This is not what any of us signs up for, but it's a part of the job nonetheless, the park ranger explained. This time, the ranger finds a dead bear cub on the side of the road. It's a new cub, couldn't be more than six months old, now balled up and lifeless under a small pine tree. The Yosemite park ranger picks up the bear cub, carrying the body deep into the woods, then sits on a log to fill out a report but the sound of a snapping branch draws the ranger's attention and the park employee looks up to see a bear staring back. At first, the ranger tries chasing off the animal, but the bear keeps returning and starts letting out deep toned cries. That's when a sad realization hits. This is the mama bear and she's refusing to leave her dead bear cub. My heart sinks. It's been nearly six hours and she still hasn't given up on her cub. 
I can just imagine how many times she's darted back and forth on that road in attempts to wake it. It's extremely lucky that she wasn't hit as well, details the Facebook post. The calls to the cub continue, sounding more pained each time. I glance back, finding myself hoping it would respond to her call too. But of course, nothing. Now here I am, standing between a grieving mother and her child. I feel like a monster. The meat park ranger moved out of the way, setting up a camera to capture the heart-wrenching moment. Why? Every year we report the number of bears that get hit by vehicles, but numbers don't always paint a picture. I want people to see what I saw, the sad reality behind each of these numbers. Yosemite chose to share the haunting image of the mother and her dead bear cub on social media to serve as a caution. The post pleads with travelers through Yosemite Park to drive slowly and alertly to avoid accidents like these. God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. God created man in his own image. In God's image, he created him, male and female, he created them. God blessed them. God said to them, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the sky, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Genesis 1, 26 through 28. Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production.